Now at 8 o'clock, a wild robbery attempt caught on camera. A man armed with a knife tries to go after a Fall River store clerk, but he reacts using the only protection that he had, a wooden chair. And fortunately, that clerk was not hurt. But the robber is still on the run. And new at 8, that clerk is talking to WBZ's Katie Brace. She's live in Fall River tonight. Katie? Well, David and Paula, the overnight clerk opens up the store here to help people rushing to work. Well, someone tried to take advantage of that generosity. And as surveillance video shows, he was not having any of it. Store surveillance shows a robber using a knife to try and make his point. Kenny Smith is the clerk on the other side of the counter. We talked to him on the phone. He thought I was just going to open the drawer up and give him the money, and, you know, he found out the difference. Smith works the graveyard shift at the Shell gas station in Fall River. Around 5 yesterday morning, this man briefly walked in and out and then came back with a knife. He pulled out a knife and started telling me to open the drawer, and I was telling him I wasn't open the drawer to leave to get out. The man shimmed he's onto the counter, still jabbing at Smith with the weapon. After seeing the video, manager Mina Sali was thankful his employee was not sliced in the stomach. I worry about him because when the guy has a knife, almost he's going to get his, his stomach. They haven't been robbed in several years. Sali recently put a hammer underneath the counter. He had get up with his leg. Smith, though, used the wooden chair to distance himself from his attacker. He says the knife came close to his hand a couple of times. I was more aggravated that he was trying to steal from me. Steal from me. The the robber never tries to go around the counter and apparently fed up with Smith's chair barrier, he grabs a bunch of cigarettes and walks out. He also took with him some of Smith's goodwill. I might not open the door as early as I had been opening it. You know, I try to help out people. You know, I'm just trying to work a job doing, make a living. And as you saw, the man's face is clear in that surveillance video, and police hope someone recognizes him. As for Smith, he kept working after the attack and will be back at work later tonight. We're in live in Fall River, Katie Brace, WBC News.